All aboard! Welcome to another edition of Shaky and the Chat. And tonight I'll be asking the question Are weathering powders worth it? And if you follow me, you'll find out that no, not necessarily, they're not. And I'll go through that during the video. And you'll probably pick something up. Hell, I didn't even think about it till recently. And it's a good tip. Stick around. You'll really pick something up. And this one here is a Missouri Pacific. What happened? I did something on it. And parts of the number rubbed off. I was melted off. I think I might have got glue on it. Liquid poly and it melted the tamper printing off so I decided to heavily weather it and weather over the number and as you can see I did it with weathering powders like at the time I used either Humbrol or Cars weathering powder and I also mixed it in with clay varnish whatever it's like the polyurethane varnishes you get from Vallejo, etc. At the time I was using Umbro, but I've stopped using Umbro products. Uh, mainly because the clay coats were abysmal quality, they let me down too many times. But the weathering powders are good, but there's other ways around it. And being an artist, I should have sussed it out sooner. But as I say, I'll be showing that a bit further on in the video. And here's the results you can get with. It'll be a combination of airbrushing and weathering powders. It's quite a nice job. And there's quite a few videos on how to. But I look at ways to save money and not just a little bit. If I can save it, I'll save a lot because prices are getting moronic. Who the hell goes at? Let's be honest, who the hell? We had him cents upstairs, pays £500 for a train set. You can get a car for that. And anyway, being an artist, Here's some examples of me work. I don't know why I didn't think of this idea sooner. Because it was stirring me in the face. This one is a local painting. It's what forms part of the ELR nowadays. And it's the Alfred Street Road Bridge. This was a painting of an aircraft that was a... Barton Airfield, or more commonly known nowadays as City Airport, that's a bit, bit so special. And this one's a FedEx aircraft at Manchester Airport. And there's a good reason why I'm showing the paintings. You can but say that all them paintings have pretty much every colour in the spectrum somewhere. And there's one way I was thinking of getting round the problem of weathering powders. It'd work. But what you could do, you can dry, you can crush dry pastels. And look at the range of colours you get there. It gives you an option of dry brushing all sorts of colours. 
as a dust in with weathering powder. But the idea was, they also do an earth pigments set by themselves, which are all earth coloured and rust coloured pigments, which are exactly what you want. And you can get them cheap, they're not overly expensive. But I was thinking along the lines of, how can I get them even more economic for one colour? And I thought, artist paint, artist paint colours, powders. Uh, no, artist pigments is a better word to search for. If you search for artist paint pigments on eBay, you'll get them in bulk. And the bulk for one colour will equate that sort of bag there. This sort of bag here works out at about £3. Whereas, you could, if you want, do the exact same thing and buy an arm bit. Or, well, better, it's the Hornby group, but it's Umbral. Weathering powder at £6 a bottle. Now, let's be honest, I've decanted the powder into Citadel bottles that I'd use the paints up in and I've got enough for about two three bottles there and the bottom one is the umbral weathering powder and the top one is the artists paint pigment and they are virtually no difference and if anything, when we go on to the model, it's even better. This one, first one, is the artist paint pigment. By the looks of it, when I use it, I'll have to use it more sparingly than I did there. And remember, these are artist paint pigments. Now that is just lush how it covers. You'd have to be very spurring and very careful how you applied it. You can't just throw it up. Although, in my experiments, have made me notice that there are some pigments that cover better than others, which is what I expected with artist pigments. Well, there you are, rub it in, and it's... That, it's a bit harsh, but like I said, use it sparingly. And we'll go on next to try the homebrow pigment alongside it. I'm just swapping out the bottles now. Well, I'm just putting mine back, and I'm getting the homebrow equivalent which you'll see that effect when it goes on here we go now this one's the humbro and it's put on in about the same quality uh, quality quantity and it doesn't stick as good and Um, like I say though, it, some colours are better than others, but like I say, if you look at the umbral there, compared to the artist pigment, I'd say the artist pigment is a far better quality item, and it's just the same. I'll I'll put a pound to a pinch of shit that Humbro are using artist pigments. And that one, just to be sure, I used in another colour of Hornby pigments in between them and just blowing it off there. 
And yeah, not as good. So there you are. The artist pigments are a clear winner. The better quality. And at less than half the price. I dare say when all the shouting's been been and done. Your artist paint pigments will be less than half the price. Probably work, they'll probably work out round about a third of the price of Umbral. Because you're playing three pound for what you'd pay a six pound. Uh, getting harm Umbral's, and you're getting more than. You're getting around double the amount, so it'd be be a lot cheaper in the long run. And there we go, there's your umbral. I'm not knocking umbral or anything, but they've got to get the product from somewhere. And let's face it, in these days, if you can save money and save landfill, everyone's a winner. And let's be honest, there's transport, but what you're paying Umbral's price for is supporting the shops and it just goes on and on where the money goes. Like I say, I pay, I pay for where it comes from at source and jobs are good and environmentally, more environmentally friendly and cheaper. Anyway, bye for now.